We now take a loan from the credit union and look, we're out of our job now. We don't know if we, how we're going to pay back the credit union because we're out of our job and we don't know what would become of the company because it, they treat us very unkind and very bad. I get a, a, um, a job letter from the company which means that I was a permanent worker and I could get loan from any institution. And I went in the bank and took a loan on, on, on that behalf so that I could make my life better. And now that I'm in that situation now, so I, I really want the company to do what he had to do for the good worker. And I just had to take a small loan there. And just last year they gave me a job letter to get the loan. Because I had to get the job letter from the company to get the loan. So I don't know why they gave me the job letter if they know that was going to happen. And that was full-time workers of Renegade Rum Distillers, commonly known as Cane Coal Limited, expressing their feelings on how their lives will change with the latest decision of their employers. 27 of the harvesting team were given letters stating that their service will be terminated and rehired on the contract after already being sent home on leave for the month of January. The workers, along with their union, came out in protest action on Monday, saying the move by management was not first discussed with the union. Field officer of the Bank and General Workers Union, Jaron Griffith, says they stand in solidarity with the workers. He explains that after the workers received the letter on January 3rd, they did meet with management three times in an attempt to solve the issue. Um, the first meeting... We told management the position that the workers were told by the supervisors to return back to the workplace. And it is unfair to them to have them stay home until the 30th. They have told us that they had to get in contact with their principals or the directors in the UK and they get back to us. Subsequently, we had a other meeting on the um, 13th of January where the union was served a letter informing us that the workers Instead of returning back to work on the uh, 30th of January, they'll be, they'll be severed and there'll be changes to the contractual arrangement. So they move these workers here from full-time employees to seasonal workers and they made this decision on their own. Workers at Kinko have already been unionized for roughly a year and it was only on December 6, 2022, the first proposal was brought to the table for discussion by the union. We submitted a proposal for the terms and conditions of the workers in December, I believe December 6, I'm, subject, I'm subjected to correction. So, so far, management has not sent back a counter proposal for us, but only sent a letter saying that they wish to serve the workers. Griffith says management at Kinko did explain why they decided to change the arrangement with workers. Management presented the reasons that they're saying that if you look around, the cane is not yet ready for harvesting. But however, in the past, when this occurred, the workers would be absorbed into the maintenance department. So far, what is been, what is being on the table or put forward on the table is that um, Management has since right um, Ministry of Labor, so I believe the next place we we'll meet with management is at the negotiating table at the Ministry of Labor. Through a press release, Kenko stated that as per the Employment Act, Kenko Limited has terminated the current contract of employment with the Kenko Harvesters and offered immediate re-employment on the new contracts as seasonal Kenko Harvesters. The release further states that each terminated worker shall receive all statutory compensation to which he or she is entitled. For GBN News, I am Rena Pet Thomas reporting.